people think because it's just them watching reality TV that it's an easy thing to do. It's a camera and it's just that. It's not that simple. It's a mental wear and tear. It's on your body. You're traveling a lot. You have to deal with energies that you wouldn't necessarily deal with on your own personal time. So I had to just do like a deep cleanse. Like I was on some... Welcome to Selling Your Circle. I'm your host, Juliana Gainsburg, And on this show, we talk all things business development, entrepreneurship, and investing. Each week, we'll have a different guest because after all, it's about expanding the circle and keeping it fed. If you like what you hear, follow us on all of your favorite streaming platforms. Welcome back to Selling Your Circle. I'm your host, Juliana Gainsburg, And today I am with a long time, way back in the day, friend, Savannah Jordan. Hi. Hi. AKA. Saucy V. Big Saucy V. V. <laughs> <laughs> when did you start calling yourself that? Or um, if someone gave you that name? Somebody gave me this name. And I think it just stuck because I was like getting dressed at the time. So I'm like, yeah, I be putting it on. So why wouldn't I call myself Saucy? And then everybody took it. Oh my gosh, Saucy Santana got my name. Don't know who that is. <laughs> you don't know who that is? Yes, you do. <laughs> you don't know who Saucy I Santana? only know one Saucy V. Oh, all right then. <laughs> Say that. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, cheers. Um, uh, when we were, like, young, when we first became friends years and years ago, which is, like, over 10 years ago, if you think about it, which oh, is crazy God. to think about, um, one of the things when we were younger that was we were the same about is that you have a preference on how you want people to say your name. Is that how we became friends, though? No, we became friends because we were trying out for seventh grade basketball. Oh. We were playing three on three, but really it was two on three because <laughs> you and I never passed the ball to anybody else. <laughs> Buckets. You were like, that one? Yeah, I'm with her. Yeah. And that was, the rest was history. <laughs> I think we went together because you were, like, so small. And I was kind of big. You were definitely the best player on the team. Ball is life. If y'all need a mixtape, holla at me. It was just kind of like a lot of people didn't know how to play, and I wasn't even really good, but I could dribble and, like, see the court. So I just made sure that you got the ball, and that's all that mattered. No, you you was getting buckets, Jules. I'm not going to lie. You was getting buckets. If, if, if the team had a total of 70 points, okay, that's too high. That's too high for Schaefer. No, <laughs> remember it, that one time that you played, and you had – it was, like, 80-70, and it was all the points were yours? And they were trying to <laughs> – they were <laughs> – they had the ball and you stole it again and then scored again twice in a row. I beat my brother's record and I just want to put this on the record. Stevie, I beat your record. <laughs> I had 62 points. 62 points, I think. I think we had a total of 65 points. And yeah, I had it was 64 something points. like that. They was like, and you was were this, so man? mad. <laughs> 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 they were so mad. But the thing is, we still lost. But it's like ridiculous that you, at a team of like, I don't know, 25 girls. Like, we probably had two and a half benches worth of people. And they sat there the whole time because I was the only person playing. I was like, here we go again. <laughs> Who was our... Co we're not... No. Okay, we're not I saying forgot. names. Beep. <laughs> Love you, but we're not saying names. Um, I remember one time he got really mad at us and he said to you and I individually, this isn't the WNBA. <laughs> so what is it? <laughs> If it's not the WNBA, if we're not, like, what are I we doing? I think he was mad because we thought we were famous, but the fact of the matter is, you are what you think you are. And we are famous. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just had to manifest that from... Seventh grade, we've been them girls. So it's only right that we grew up and just gave everybody a run for their money. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, we played basketball together for a long time. And then you left. Had to go get their money. Go get their money. Go get their money. Right. So for those of you, the people that are listening, probably may, maybe not know you. Oh. You Tell them, like, who you are, what you do. Okay. What's your... Straight. Hey, guys. My name is Savannah, and um, I own a clothing line called The Good Vibe. You guys can shop with me. The link is in my bio. Jules, Jules supports me all the time. On I love a, her so much. One of our last... One of the... Uh, I was with Marissa... Um, I was wearing the zip up. The, the crop top. Crop zip up. She had the crop top that was limited. I'm 100% sold out of those. So please, please <laughs> Sorry, don't DM you can't me. buy that. <laughs> so please don't DM me about it anymore. But I do have sweatpants, t-shirts, all, all the type of stuff. I am the CEO. And I also do reality TV. Um, I did Wild and Out. They still run me a good check. Shout out to Nick Cannon. Yeah, shout out to Nick Never Cannon. Never heard anyone say that. No, he runs a good... Bro, I was on there when I was 19. I'm 24. I get checks 
every quarter. I love that. Like, he takes like care residuals. of residuals. Yeah, like, yeah. he makes sure everybody's taken care of. I love that when people see me on Wild and Out, they always, like, send me stuff. Like, it's a... What was a, that? Just because we're talking about it, like, what was the experience, like, the process to going there and then finding out, like, what, like, clip you're going to be doing? Like, is it's very, like, pre-put together, right? Yes that no, experience right? was crazy. <clears throat> Excuse me. It was crazy, like... It's like you're in a movie. Like yeah. I, it ha everything was happening so fast. So we had glam. Then after that, you have to go and you have to pre-do everything that same day. Like it's not like a process where you do the episode and then you come back another day and you do some more. No, you go in there and it's a thousand cameras, bro. There's st hold on action photo. Stay still. Hey, do it. Do a silly. I'm um, what? Yo, yeah, and and much more entailed than reality. Yo, and the crazy part about that day was <laughs> we took some THC drops. <laughs> We took some THC drops. My homegirl ended up tripping. We had to call 911. The emergency room ended up coming to get... No, for real. The emergency was she room supposed to be on the show or she no, just No, she you? just came with me. Like, I had, I had a couple extra tickets. So my person that was doing my glam, she was my homegirl. She was there. And then my other two homegirls came. So you brought your own makeup and wardrobe? Well, just makeup. Yeah, they... I'm, yeah, I just bought my makeup and hair. Like, I had a wig. So she just dropped it off and then they put it on and that was it. But... Yeah, she was tripping earlier. She got taken out by the uh, the emergency. The and you just one stayed and did it. I was getting paid. Oh right, <laughs> I was getting paid. You gotta you gotta put your money. Gotta no, put money. I mean, it is what it is. So. Yeah. So I went and like, hope you're good. <laughs> hope you're good. But bitch, why did I start tripping? Not even 15 minutes after she, I'm like, oh shit, I'm high as shit. Like the whole time I'm doing the episode, I'm there, but I'm not there. Like my dad was. Did like, you think Yo, you did that because you were nervous? Were you nervous? No. So you're just like, I'm going to do this for fun. And then it no, kind of didn't work it out. It backfired because when you take the THC drops, it doesn't tell you how much. It's just a drop it. Okay. So you you put it in there and then you put it in your mouth. So it's as as as, as, as much as you put in there. But it's I'm thinking it's not like hardcore <laughs> CBD. THC. Well, THC. Oh, that's what's in me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Girl, we was below. Like everything was happening so fast. If you watched the episode, like. I did. I have glasses on the whole time. I just thought it was a vibe. It was a vibe, for sure. I was on a whole another dimension, like, for sure. But it was, like, a great, it was a great experience mm -hmm. overall. Yeah. Would you do it again? Well, I guess you would do it again. Yes, Nick Cannon, hire me again. What the hell? Yeah, I actually used to watch that show all the time. It's still, yeah. it's new it's, still, right? Yeah, I yeah. think they brought it back 100%. So. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people have started from like vine or like just short form content and got like next step is on there like remember the guy that did um what's his name that did the video that asking all your asking all them questions um emmanuel Emma or kosher kosher no emmanuel emmanuel something yeah and the so brother. him and the other guy they were on that which i feel like was their like claim to fame initially like mm -hmm. that was like their big break like they've been doing content and comedy forever but then when they were on Wild and Out, they've they're like the main character. Yeah, yeah. So which I, is amazing. He gives people the floor, like yeah. And I really like that because it's like it's not a lot of outlets where people care about you being better than them. And they're gonna give you the floor. Yeah, it's a lot of hating going on in this industry. Like whether you're in TV, whether you're doing music, any like anything as far as entertainment. I don't know what it's like in any other like world, but in the black entertainment industry, the brother haters. And no, nobody's trying to give you the floor more than them. Mm -hmm. So it's great that Nick Cannon is giving people the platform and still running checks. Yeah. Yeah. Like you, Nick Cannon. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> so what were the other, and then just tell them about the other shows that you've been on. Okay. So when I, okay, so let's start with what I started with. My dad had his own show when I was 16 called Stevie J and Jocelyn. And, um. But he was on, me. he had, he was on Love and Hip Hop, right? So he did that when I was eighth grade. That's when he started coming around. Yeah. So he did that eighth grade year when I was was at 13, 14, and that just brought yeah. him to a whole nother level of stuff, which helped us in life. So, um, yeah, we started off with Stevie J and Jocelyn. We did that for a season, and then we got our own show called uh, Leave It to Stevie, which had, what, four or five seasons, I think? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that did really well, and then um, I took a break from TV because it's, like, draining. Like, I'm not going to yeah. lie. It's not all that people think it is. Like, it's very hard work. Like, just us sitting here, you know, oh, excuse me, like, all the stuff that we have to do with this, just imagine it amplified. Like, yeah. And like the mental side of it too. It's and, a lot of wear and tear. And the like hate online. Yeah. 
fuck y'all. Like, do y'all think I care? I never, you could t- yeah. tell them, tell them I never cared. Tell them right now. I yeah. never cared. Never since day one, I never, never cared. cared. So come, please leave me alone. Like, I don't Even care. before she was famous, like people would just want to. Story time. <sighs> It's just ridiculous. But like the main one that I recall is when we had an away like tournament and and this happened multiple times where people, girl, specifically like other females when we were young, we were kids, yeah. would just come to fight you. And it's so crazy because like like that was like them reaching a like, hey, I fought this person or I beat this person up, which means that I have some type of but like. But never beat me. Did it they? was honestly. Did they? Growing up, before I was in middle school and grade school, I never experienced that. <laughs> like I like, never was around anything of that type of like mentality. So when we started to be friends and we were like doing basketball and doing all this stuff, and I like witnessed that that was like a thing, I was just so confused. Just imagine we're growing together though. So for y'all to be so obsessed that y'all want to, yeah, it was e- like other like young women that were the same age as us. Is it called obsession or what is I, that? I don't know, but that was before anything was even a thing. And my mom nicely, politely told them, listen, this is not what y'all want. <laughs> she did. She's like, this is not what y'all I want. Remember. Like, y'all coming to her back. This is this is me after playing a hard game. Also, not for nothing. You were scary. I was scared. <laughs> no, I wasn't. But I was. <laughs> Bro, you was not scared. <laughs> no, I wasn't. But I would be if I was in some type of altercation at but, that age. You were tall. Yeah. And strong. I, was, <laughs> I don't understand. Why, I don't know why anybody had any business wanting to do anything of that. But sort. it's just like, I don't, I don't, I can't tell you what it is. Everybody's literally hating me my whole life. So the fact that like online hate people hating me when I go to do this work, I don't care. Like, it's, yeah. I think in life, sometimes it's a preparation thing. Like, yeah. I was prepared to do certain things so that when I got to where I was going, it was just kind of like a, yeah. Girl, keep it moving. I think it is still hard, though, when you get to a certain point with social media that you it's hard not to read. Mm -hmm. And I think even when like I don't eyes for me, I obviously don't deal with this, but Mm -hmm. I don't think that I am in a place where that would like bring me down, like to the point where I would stop doing what I would like or Mm -hmm. stop doing podcasts if I got that type of like negative like trolling or whatever but some people are like heavily affected by that and I think even people like myself still will go and like read it and like okay you still you do your best to like just like let that shit go and like not pay attention to it but it's just like no you want to like look no I do look yeah 100 percent. I look and if it's something that's like so far-fetched I'm gonna respond because it's like (laughs) Yeah, we love the mature me. We love the yeah, but at the same time, you you it's I'm a regular person just like you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're just living in your mom's basement on a um air mattress with no TV and a phone. You're bored. You want to mess with me. Yeah. We have way different situ- you, This that's is the why, reality. This well, is that's the reality. why when we were talking in the car today about um like protecting our energy, I think that's why it's super important to have people in your life that do lift you up and like mm-hmm. support you so that when you do have stuff like this happen, it doesn't really like, so, it just rolls right off. It's a, it's a breeze. Like, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I pay it dust because it's, you're a person that probably lives a way different life than I. And yeah. I'm not even that. T- Here's the thing you're talking about me and you're watching me. I don't care about you. So it's like you have to even put it in that type of way. Yeah. But also, like, you kind of want them to hate in a sense too because it's views. Like, that's part of getting the check. You ain't never lie. Like, I don't want them that. to not do it, but also at the same time, like, it's weird. By all means, I get paid, though, before. So it's like, if you're, if that's what you're going to do after the fact, by all, keep it up, babe. I right. already got my <laughs> check. My check cleared. Right. The other day. The first episode we ever did for the podcast, um, I started posting them on the snippets on TikTok, and one of them got 320,000 views. You have to teach me TikTok, too. Out of nowhere. I honestly am, I'm really not sure exactly why that one did what it did, but. What was the content? It's me and my friend John sitting here, and mm-hmm. he's like South Philly guy. We were mm-hmm. really just like busting on each other. Like, that's how we talk to each other. But the way that it was cut um, made me look like I was being mean. Oh, get the Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and people didn't have enough context because on TikTok, they don't watch the full episode. Mm-hmm. Just watch what they see right there. But it was grinding you up. 
they were saying the craziest shit about me. <laughs> She's re- well. I'm not gonna s- repeat the words because some of them were like, like I wouldn't even say them. Blocked. I didn't block them. I got a thousand plus comments and three hundred twenty thousand views on my first podcast episode. Like, give me some. Let's go. Let's <laughs> say go. what you want. It's, <laughs> it's still like whatever. I don't care. But okay, <laughs> this is Pisces back. energy, by the way, y'all. This is this is a Pisces right here. This is exactly how they act. How she said, I don't care. I can only be me. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm a Pisces, I'm a Pisces. All right. <laughs> um, so okay, so leave it to Stevie. Mm-hmm. And then there was more. Um, oh yeah. So after Leave It to Stevie, I had took a, a little break because mm-hmm. of just everything. That was just family stuff. I had a break. And then I did Grown Up Hip Hop. Was there another one though? Was there Wasn't there an L.A. L.A. spinoff or something like that? No, we started off in L.A., then we moved to Atlanta. So we started off in L.A., then we moved to Atlanta. And then I did Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I did do Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Yeah. I forgot. I did do Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. That was a whirlwind of freaking experience. Because it's like... Because that's a lot of, like, animosity. It's so much... It's so negative. Like, and I'm a child. Like, let's You're put young. let's put out there that... You're a child and somebody's putting you in a situation head first, not telling you anything that's going on. Because I live in the real world. So it's like I didn't understand that that was such a false. Well, that goes all the way back to when we were in eighth grade. Like, I remember when your dad first started the show, he would FaceTime us and he'd be like, listen, you're going to see this on the episode this week. But like, it's not really what it seems. You heard that? It's um, never am what I, it am seems. Am I allowed to say that? Yes, <laughs> yes. It's never what it seems. And I feel like yeah. I've been getting bullied on the internet for something that happened when I was 18. When in reality, like, me and Jocelyn know. You feel what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Me and you know, babe. So for you to get on a, 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 a national platform that you know how to do so well. I mean, now, you know, I'm a pro. Yeah. Don't play with me now. But it's like, Don't play with me. I wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't. I wasn't a pro at it. And you talking about yeah. something, you know, it can't be me a bit. Girl, if I slide this shit across the table, I would be dead wrong. Like, but it's like, I didn't know any better. I, I right. couldn't, I and didn't know like how to And that was like kind of what they were pushing anyway. Yes. And it's crazy because I was a child. Like, if I knew what I knew now, I, VH1, y'all owe me some more checks for that because that was nasty business. <laughs> that was nasty. That was nasty. <laughs> so, and then the last one you did was Growing Up Hip Hop. Yeah, Growing Up Hip Hop. That was a crazy experience as well because it's like, they're like, she's too much of a pro. We got to break her. We got to break her. But guess you, guess. Like, I was just, when I'm coming in though, I'm a guest and I ended up taking up the taking over the whole show. Well, you have a big personality. You are not side character. You're main character energy. But some people can't understand that. And it's like, well, but- who is supposed to be main character on that? Oh, but- uh, whatever. Now we don't need to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. I know. It, yeah, just, but I know. It's just like, it didn't give, it didn't give what it gave. And then when I came, it was like, she's too much. She's too this. She's too. And to be honest, like, I, they wasn't trying to give me a spinoff. So right. I was like, it's no point in me continuing to sit here with y'all and you guys are haters. I can't sit here with you guys. Yeah. So I I had to um, disperse. And now I'm just focusing on me. I'm trying to get a, <sighs> so much. I'm okay, to- so let's talk about, you know, like obviously this podcast, we can talk about all the things, but a lot of it comes back to the business side of yeah, things. let's talk about that. And so from the show. What would love do? This is actually Mara's. That's so cute. Fairy Garden. Fairy Garden mindset. We support all the girlies and their clothing yes. brands. What would love do? Love would be positive. I actually would love for her to explain what this actually means. Yeah, because I was like, is that love from Joe? What? Joe? No. Oh, okay. This episode is brought to you by Castle Public Adjusters. If you have fallen victim to property damage, Castle Public Adjusters is your first and only call. They will make sure that you get the maximum compensation for your property loss. Remember, avoid the hassle. Just call Castle. 215-752-1237. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Never Maybe. Mind. Okay. What? <laughs> what would love No, do? instead of just like, she's just very like everybody in the circle. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, I love that. Let's meet her. 
You have to. She seems very like similar vibe. in different ways, but similar. She seems like a good vibe. She is. This is also hers, too. Oh, yes. We need to collaborate or something. Yeah. Hook, this, hook that Impossible up. Impossible isn't real. Yeah, because it's not. Obviously. Look where we are. But yeah, no, right now I'm just focusing on building my brand. I just recently dropped this April 420. This is a 420 shirt, but you can wear it. Listen. Every day is a good day to get on. <laughs> okay, got it. <laughs> Word. Um, so you built like a, obviously you had social media during that time. I mean, mm-hmm. like we grew up in a social media world. So you leveraged social media from the shows or like how did you like and and also just get into when you decide to go the clothing brand route because yeah um it's hard i okay so basically i was chilling i was taking a break from um from the reality tv shows and i was just going straight social media i was going hard on social media like i was just posting i had a lot of brand deals like a pretty little thing i had a lot of brand deals so i was just getting my hair done every day and just posting 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 and then corona came and um I'm not going to lie, like, you gave me the idea to go start the good vibe because I was just tie-dyeing clothes and stuff like that, just doing, like, little stuff here and there. But I always wanted the slogan of the good vibe, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? So you sent me to the store in Bristol, and you're like, yeah, they embroider, blah, blah, blah. I got, like, four pieces. I got two sweatpants. I, I don't even remember two. that. Yes, why don't you remember? You don't remember? That's okay. I know what you're talking about. You were going to get your, like, nails done or something, and you gave me the address to go over there. Hmm. But I went over there. Shout out to Jules, y'all. <laughs> but I went over there. I got some stuff um, embroidered. And I was like, okay, this is cool. Like, the good vibe looks good. Like, the yeah. name looks good. Let me go get the LLC. I did that. And I don't, I'm don't. i not an LLC girl. I'm not telling you to go get an LLC. Like, immediately, no. You know what I'm saying? Because it comes with a lot. You have to pay taxes. You have to do a lot of things. So if you're not one of those, I'm not going to say go get an LLC. Like, just, I feel like a lot of people have just been throwing that acronym all around Yeah, lately. like, just chill out. Chill out with that, please. Everybody chill out. <laughs> Lay low. And you didn't want to wear the headphones. Meanwhile, <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, you do the clothing brand. Oh, and yeah. then Okay, so I um I am I did the embroider and then um somebody gave me the idea like to go on the show Grown Up Hippo. I was talking to some people out in LA. So I moved to LA and I took a break. But yeah. coronavirus was just, like, heating up. So, you know, everything out L.A. was closed. But I was still, like, I need to, you know, print some T-shirts. So I ordered some stuff. Mm-hmm. I ordered some T-shirts. I started getting them printed in L.A. And then it just kind of, like, took off from there. Like, that's how my brand got started. I just started with some T-shirts. And then yeah. I was like, okay, let me get some sweatpants. And then I, my homegirl was like, make crop tops. Did the crop tops. The crop tops went crazy. I was like, okay, cool. And then, like, now I'm just trying to make it more of a, how would you say, like a street brand. So. Yeah. More T-shirts like this, you know what I'm saying? More more sweatpants. This is my um homeboy's brand. Shout out to him, Chronix. Shop Chronix. I like that. Yeah, and the they're, yeah. They made me look real thin. <laughs> so did you, I guess you've, like, created a fan base, too, from the shows that, like, helps with launching the line? Yeah, I would say that. But really... I guess, yeah, I guess you would call them fans that support me. But I would just say, like, my supporters, like, people that want to see me do well. Anybody, like, I wouldn't, I don't know. I don't know how I would say it. Yeah. I don't know how I would put it. But, yeah, I just. God bless you. God bless you. (laughs) I was like, dude, that was a conversation. It's on tight. I don't think out of 14 episodes, 15 episodes we've recorded, I don't think Dom has ever sneezed. Not once. I tried to Is God in the room? Sneeze on the god. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, side note. So yeah, so like they say, we do not have what I call the drink of the summer, which is the raspberry lemonade. But this one is my favorite all year round. Raspberry lemonade is the drink of the summer, in my opinion. Tastes like summer. You have to let me try it. Well, you can try this one if you'd like. I don't know if you're gonna like this one. You'll like the other one. I need this flavor. one is made with vodka. Black tea. So that's why I like this one because you it's have a not. You don't have a straw. I don't have a straw. We're going to get straws. But I'll also save the turtles. It. It's not cold. Save the turtles. It's good over ice. Straws. My teeth matter, y'all. This Great over 50K. ice. Okay. I have to save the teeth. The teeth <laughs> save the turtles. <laughs> I'll, I'll get you reusable straws next time. Uh, yeah. 
pause. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, um, this is my favorite because it's gluten-free, because it's made with vodka. No, no, no. Do it to the rest of the mic so we can do it. ASMR. No, we're not doing that. I hate that noise. I will literally go punch on. you. I hate that noise so much. Look, go closer. Oh, yeah. So, anyway. Come on. Come on. Oh, it's good. Okay, enough with the ASMR. It's good, y'all. Wait. I'm not gonna lie, it doesn't really. It tastes like a Arizona. I'm telling you, it it's black. Like it's it's, it's because know. it's vodka the and fuck? it's gluten free and it tastes great. That's what I'm saying. This one's my favorite one out of all of them. I'll drink this anytime. It's Ten o'clock in the morning. But for the summertime, the raspberry lemonade will be my favorite for the next two months. I just dropped that. Okay, they don't know that. <laughs> They do now. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so clothing line. Mm -hmm. What what else? What's next? Um, there's a lot going on right now. Right now, I'm just trying to... Um, I was in some alignment phase. So now I was just trying to get myself together mentally because I'm not going to lie. Like I said, people think because it's just them watching reality TV that it's an easy thing to do. It's a camera and it's just that. It's not that simple. It's a mental wear and tear. It's on your body. You're traveling a lot. You have to deal with energies that you wouldn't necessarily deal with on your own personal time. So I had to just do like a deep cleanse. Like I was on some yogi. Sh like, you know what I'm saying? I was just really trying to get myself together. Now I'm just right back in the swing of things. I'm focusing on myself like physically. Like I'm starting to get myself back. Slim and fit and all that good stuff. We haven't played basketball since you've been visiting. It's really sad to me. We can do it tomorrow. We're going to the gym out. tomorrow. Yeah, after we work out, we can go to play basketball. But yeah, I'm just focusing on, um, you know, doing more with the good vibe. I want to get it, like, out there more. Because I haven't done yeah. much promotion for it. I just kind of drop, and it's just, that's it. I haven't done any shoots or anything. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And I'm focusing on... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm doing right now. I'm Sings focusing it. on my YouTube and stuff, too. I, I fake do music now, like, just on the sly, girl. It's like, it For gives. Fun. If it's there, oh, my God, it's a studio. Let's do it. Yeah. Yes. Then we record. That was scary. Was it? <laughs> you didn't jump or anything. <laughs> Did you jump? I, I jumped a little bit. I was shook. <laughs> Jewel, do you mind if I ask her a question? Yeah. Yes, ask her okay, question. Okay, Q&A with so, Dom. New segment. Uh, <laughs> dummy, 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 dummy. All right, so my fiance watches some reality shows. Mm-hmm. And every time I walk by, I'm curious if – so this one time I saw a guy who looked like he approached it with strategy. I'm on a reality TV show. I have plans for my future. I'm going to make the most out of this reality TV show. As and you should. So, well, that's my question. When you got into it, were you thinking about – did you have foresight long-term? Did you – go about it a certain way to try to build your own thing or were you just in there having a good time or what was that process? Like? Okay. So I started off when I was 16, right. On a family show. So I was kind of just like, oh, I'm here with my dad. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing this for the sake of a family thing. You know, that's, that's, that's morally what it was. But as I got older, I had to go on with the purpose. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So we're not going to attack. We're not going to go in and, let people into your life if we're not doing it with a purpose. So I think now that we're adults and we're watching shows like, what does that show you, like Love Island, like stuff like that, they have purpose. Everybody has a purpose. They're going in there like, I'm trying to be famous. <laughs> I'm about to be the next big thing. Oh, my God. Like, it gives that. You know what I'm saying? Immediately that. And, and that's yeah. what I want people to know watching reality TV. This is more or less scripted but it's unscripted you know what i'm saying it's people a stepping are, stone it is a stepping stone so it's like if you want to go be an actress after this you're gonna act on that you know what i'm saying some people like cardi b are just themselves and then you <laughs> fall into the line of a whole lot of other work you know what i'm saying but some people come in with a purpose even still she still had a purpose though Talk like about somebody who got the bag though what she got it doubled it tripled it quadrupled it and then did some more like what I have a lot of respect. I have for that. a lot of respect for Cardi B. Like, um, she's a, she did the damn thing. What? Who you know gonna do it like that? I mean, no one. Jocelyn did what she had to do. It's not at the same it's level. It's not the same though. No shade. All T. No shade. All T. 
Spike tea. <laughs> sea aisle. <laughs> Spike tea. That should be. <gasps> that's a new segment. All tea, no shade. All Sponsored tea, no by shade. Sea aisle, Spike Tea. Sponsor me. So, well, I got one more. Okay, come on. So. I forgot we were in another oh, yeah, segment. I, <laughs> I guess, yeah, the people that are on that show want to mm-hmm. be famous and want to be actors or something along that line. But. So when I see it, I have a different mindset. I think of like product and services yes. in a business. Have you ever ran into someone that's like, I got this little business on the side. I'm going to plug it without people really knowing. Like, say I have a water bottle company or something. Mm-hmm. And the girl that's on the TV show, you always see her with her own little water bottle. Always just See, not- that's what I tried to do. I okay. tried to do that with like my, my good vibe stuff. But your production has to buy into what you have going on. You okay. feel what I'm saying? They yeah. have to... Everything is a team. It's not a just the solo. Everything has to be a team effort. So if you're having water, it needs to be here at all times. You need to make sure that it's there. And then you have to make sure that production is on it. They want to be, you need to have them a part of your production process of your water or of your, the or, or of your shirt or of your pants or of your hair. You know what uh, I'm saying? Were you allowed to okay. pick out your own outfits? Oh, hundred percent. But yeah. um, as far as outfits and stuff like that, it had to be somebody that I knew. I couldn't just wear a logo or something. So it made me even more want to make my Your clothes seem because, yeah. like, if my homegirl wears my clothes in a scene, then it's because now that. that I think about it, you really don't ever see people wearing graphic tees. You don't because you ha- it has to be copyright. You have to be able yeah. to call the person that made it and say, "Hey, you made this. Can you send over the stuff for it?" Like my homegirl is going on a trip. Shout out to Zaya. She's going on a road trip with her mom, who's a chef, and they're about to do like a HD TV type thing. And she's like, "Hey, can you? Are you going to be able to send me over the logos and stuff for this?" A hundred percent. What did you? Yeah, yeah, like for sure. Yeah. That's like every going into it as an adult, you have to go in with a mindset because especially if you're on a huge platform, you're on national TV, you're on Netflix, anything like that. You better wear your clothes. You better. I don't care if you got candles. You better have that candle sit on top of your head. And every. I'm saying. Was there other people that did that? Like, did you notice other people that did stuff like um, that? Yes. Like the girl that was on there for a long time, she had incense and candles and stuff. She like would give them to us when she, we would walk into certain stuff. Like she would give them to us, but she didn't have the best energy. So I was like, do I want to burn your shit? Do I want to burn your shit? I have to like pray over it first. They smell delicious though. Shout it's like, her. you know that, um meme or like gif or whatever where it's like the girl and she's like looking around and has like the pie like number math chart that's like coming up and she's like looking back and forth like do I want to burn this? Like am I sure about this? I don't I had to pray Spider-Man over Spider-Man looking at Spider-Man. <laughs> like <laughs> where is your mind at? Is this you trying to is this a trick? Yeah but I think that um, reality TV is definitely a stepping stone. That's all it is a stepping stone. Don't think oh excuse me don't it, that's yeah, why I stopped burping me. any liquids on the podcast because um, I will burp. It's a, definitely a stepping stone when you go into that mindset or you go into that um that place where you're filming, you need to know like I'm coming onto this with a purpose. Don't go in there trying to make you yourself famous. Have your product, whatever it is, have your mindset and have a mission on how you're going to go about it. Like you should already have it written down. Don't try to go along with the you know what I'm saying? That was probably my problem too. I was like, well, fuck it. That can go along with the flow. No, I should have had a like a solid point in direction of each step of the way. And it's like at the same time, my production, we had I thought we had a good relationship where I was like, okay, I need to have a runway show. Like this is what we're doing, this is what we're doing. And they'd be like, okay, cool, got you. And then it was like three episodes later. I didn't did I didn't shot 16 scenes, bro. It's not one of me doing a runway. All right, I'm not shooting no more. I'll yeah. shoot. I'll shoot again when it's something relevant happening. Cause y'all want me to cater to what you guys got going on, which is some bullshit. Some, it's not actually your life. Some messy shit. Yeah. yeah, like that's another thing. Oh my gosh, like it, reality TV is so messy. Like they don't want to really talk about the real stuff. They don't want to get into. I that. guess like what the moral of the story is, and like why I wanted to talk about that is because like we talk about people like Cardi B who took the opportunity and like ran with it. Mm-hmm. And I feel like that's pretty much a level of what you have done and continue to do. Oh, really? You think that? Yeah. I mean like, Oh my God. I'm listen. Cardi B. <laughs> listen, ma'am, you're still working on. No, I'm hundred percent. You're still on the rise. You know what I'm saying? Like Cardi B like is like, you put here, it, you're yeah. kind of like going like this. I'm kind of like here and I, you're kind of like going in this direction. She's kind of like over here. 
she's up there, just like jumping. She's just ahead. chilling right now. She's yeah. like, am I? I don't even know where she's at. No, she's eating. She just did the McDonald's. And she got whippets. She got the whippets that keep selling out. No, not whippet. Excuse me. Whoa. Pause. Whipped cream. Whipped cream. That's liquor in it. I think they call it that. Yeah. that Yeah. I think that's the name, though. Yeah, so they've been selling out everywhere. Like It's like uh, alcohol-infused whipped cream. That's awesome. I love whipped cream. I haven't bought it, though, but because it's been sold out in Atlanta. Hey, if you send it, we'll try it. <laughs> Cardi B, send <laughs> that whipped cream on to me. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I, I'm, I'm using that as a stepping stone to do what I want to do. But, yeah. Um, I'm that's... proud of you. Thanks, friend. I love you so much. Love me too. It's been a long time coming. I know. But at this point, I think it's time for us to both like come together as a unit and do something as a unit. Because like, how the hell <laughs> did... Y'all, let's talk about it. <clears throat> oh Excuse gosh, me. I'm scared. I left and Jules is in college. I came back Jules is doing all type of shit. Not Jules, <laughs> Jules got Jules is a real estate. She's like, girl, I just finished this test. I did good. I'm about to next time. Next time I see her, she has a house. Like every time I see Jules, all she's, right, okay, she's all right. doing she's doing better and better and better and better and better and better and better. I'm like, I'm trying. If I'm lying, I'm crying. <laughs> what template you got in your notebook? I need it. Uh, sell your circle. Just like I put on people a good life, people buy it, makes you better. Then someone's going to come up, you're going to come back around and be like, you need to buy a house from Jules. Oh, yeah, that's what I've been on. Yeah. Yeah. We're about to. I'm telling you, the house I toured yesterday would be a great fit for someone that we know. <laughs> <laughs> that I think you should send no a shade, message to. Alti no shade, Alti no shade. Alti no shade. Alti Sponsored no by Seattle Spike Dice. Hello. <laughs> Sign sealed, delivered. Okay. See y'all. Brett, send me a check. <laughs> um, run me yeah. my money. Run me my money, yo. Anything else you want to tell them? Um, I just want to say, <clears throat> excuse me. Damn, my throat is dry. Have some sea oil. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Oh, my God. With the noises. <laughs> um, what I was about to say. I just want to say stay positive, stay healthy, and stay optimistic. Like, don't let one thing just crush your dreams. Keep pushing. You know what I'm saying? Have perseverance. Understand there's more to life than the little thing that just happened yesterday or the hour before. You know what I'm saying? Live big. Have positive energy and spread your positive energy. That's all. Shop the good vibe. Yeah. Wow. Dropping motivational heat. Like that. Oh, yeah. And subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, Yeah. Money. I'll link it. <laughs> yeah, <the> obviously. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think that's pretty much it. Good, Good vibe, reality TV, ball and since forever and ever and ever ago. We're going to clip some think? pictures of us as kids. Oh, yeah. Maybe I will send you some pictures of us. We just found our seventh and eighth grade. I honestly, have it in my purse. Get it. I'm honestly not sure. Should that I get it? I'll get it. I'm honestly not sure that I even want the people to see this. I'm not embarrassed of my past. I used to be an ugly duckling. Guess what, guys? I used to wear my brother's clothes every single day to school. Did I not, Jules? Uh, bring it, bring it closer. <laughs> bring it closer. Come closer. closer. Don't get my leave out because that shit was crazy. Cover, cover your eyes back there because oh, there it is. Oh, back that shit up. Back that shit up. Back that shit. Up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yes, it's focused. Yes, it's focused. Jules. Then I used to wear my brother's school clothes to school every day. I thought I was gonna grow up and be a dyke, but I didn't. Let's oh go. my god! Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I never thought I was gonna be gay. I never thought I was gonna be gay. And shout out to Pride, Happy Pride Month, and I love y'all. I never thought I was gonna be gay, but the way that I was dressing was like. I think I should have cut you off ten seconds ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. Um, no, I've but for real, it's so far through the whole episode, you weren't saying anything <laughs> crazy. I felt we were in the clear. <laughs> Gotcha, bitch. I really did. I will tell you though, other day, I got I gave away my um Victoria's Secret zip up that you bought me in eighth grade. <gasps> no. It went to a good to... home. Oh. It's fine. It's literally so many years old. Oh. Oh. I was still wearing that for a long time. Oh anyway. my God. Anyway. You see how much my best friend loved me, y'all? <sighs> guess what? Guess what? Seventh grade, I dressed like a boy. Eighth grade, when my dad got that money. We got our eyebrows done. <laughs> Saucy V was in action, baby. You better know it. That shit was on me. Yeah. Lace my homegirl in Victoria. Secret. 
That's true. For my birthday. Don't play with me. That's when I, I was don't like. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. My name going to be Saucy. Saucy B. That's me. So wait, we never even said it. Back to the name thing. What? You were very keen on oh, Savannah. Savannah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, my name is, I mean, my mom, I blame my mom and my dad because they did spell it like Savannah, Georgia, but that is not my name. My name is Savannah, and it's crazy because they're like, Juliana, Juliana, who is that? This girl is, what do y'all think she is? My name is Juliana and Savannah. But that wasn't like a With a mob. We didn't decide on that. Like, collectively, we came that way. Yeah. Like, we met each other that way. We met each other a lot of ways, but. We have a lot in common. I'm, I'm actually scared to admit it. We have a lot in common. I mean, we spent a lot of years together, so I could see how we would have some. Oh my gosh, y'all. I really met her when I was 12. 12, 11 or 12. I'm 24 years old. Oh my gosh. Yep. Jules, I'm so happy to have you in my life. That is the nicest thing you've ever said to me. No, it's not. I swear to God, it's the nicest thing oh, you've ever stop. said to me. I will cry right now. We're not going to cry. I will tear. Anyways, that's it for today. Thank you for listening to the podcast. If you are not currently following us, you can follow us on Instagram at SongYourCircle underscore podcast. You can follow us on everything. TikTok. I, wanna, I always want to say you can follow us on YouTube, but it's not a follow. It's subscribe. a subscribe. Hit the bell, hit the likes, hit a comment. Um, Thank you for having me. Thank, thank you, you for, for having coming. Me. Thanks for having me, Dom. You got it. Anytime. If you are not currently following us on Spotify and Apple Podcast, you can listen to us there as well. And we will see you next time. Bye.